So hi. It's been a while. Much love to you. Hi, nice to see you. For all the people which are coming in. Welcome. So I just add a comment here. Hi, much love to you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. I hope you're well. Thank you for all the new followers. I cannot believe it. So many videos. All of a sudden, so many views. I cannot believe it, guys. Thank you so, so much. You're so, so awesome. Hi, Sil. Much love to you. Hi, much love to you. I see you all. Hi, baby dragon. Hi, Alex. Much love. So I scroll. Hi, Sifiro. Hi, Alex. Nice to see you. Hi, much love to Brazil. Oh my gosh. People from Brazil watching too. People from Greece. Hi, much love. I hope you're well. Hi, nice to see you guys. Welcome, welcome. Wow, Mexico. Amazing. Uh, Lundisa, uh, just in English. But I also give uh, private readings. So when you check out my website, you find my website here in my TikTok channel. Um, then you will see my link tree and then you can book. So and then I can do a German reading too. No problem. But here live. Sorry, just English. Thank you so, so much. You're so awesome. France, North Carolina. Okay. Hi, much love. Greece, amazing guys. Wow. I see you all. Croatia, <laughs> amazing. People from Europe watching too. Hi, Angel, much love to you. Hi, nice to see you guys. So first of all, I just want to say thank you. Thank you. I, I cannot believe it. So many new subscribers on my channel. Welcome to the new followers. So, and I saw that many videos not going viral one is almost going viral it has i think almost 500k views now almost 500k views it was the black magic arcturian healing video i cannot believe it so then even check the other like code activations there are some that have over 20k too so i don't understand i'm honest you're so amazing guys you know i i just heard this message you know i was sitting in nature and then i just received a picture speak in arcturian language and it was the arcturian black removal video and it happened because it happened and then i published it and all of a sudden so many views so many positive comments i'm just grateful i'm beyond grateful guys so i'm very happy when my work helps you so also i saw some singing videos have uh, many views too the pleiadian healing video it was um the blood bad luck removal video i think it was the bad luck removal video by the pleiadians and i was just singing so it has over 10k views too so i don't understand <laughs> to be honest but i'm very very happy and i'm very grateful because i love it to sing much love to philippines <laughs> thank you so much guys you're so awesome so I cannot believe it. You're beyond awesome, amazing. I love you all. And yeah, I hope my work inspires you. So yeah, and let's uh, walk this path together. <laughs> Much love to Scotland. Amazing. Nice to see you guys. So how is everybody doing? So I hope you're well. So I don't know if you are sensitive to energies or I don't know, because I know many people were guided from this Arcturian video to me. And maybe you never heard about light language or maybe light language is new for you. Or maybe you never heard about indigo children or star seeds. Because uh, I speak a lot about star seeds. I do videos for the so-called chosen. So the 144k light warriors. Many times I publish motivational videos, energy update videos. I love to channel time after time. Also, and me, my twin flame. 
are doing videos together. So yeah, I don't know if you are already in spirituality or maybe it just plopped up on your For You page and you did not know what is this light language? Huh? What language is this? <laughs> so and I don't know if you are uh, very deep in spirituality or if you are interested in star seeds because uh, I publish many different videos. Basically, I published motivational videos or I was publishing light language videos and I sung. You know, I love to sing. Thank you so, so much. Workers of light. Yes, great to see you. There's high energy in South Africa. Oh, wow. Yeah, I feel the same way. So I feel the same about South Africa. I feel the same that the energy is strong and very light there. Yeah, I feel the same way. I also feel the energy on Earth is increasing strongly. I don't know if you see it too, that the energy is really rising now because of the situation in the US. So I think there are many people from the US watching too, right? And I feel since um, I feel since Kennedy and uh, Trump were on the stage together, so I feel that uh, the energy is really rising. I don't know if you can see it too, but I feel since uh, Trump and Kennedy were on the stage together, I feel the energy is strongly increasing. And I feel that US Americans having hope. So they're having hope, I feel so and um they become more and more powerful and sovereign so this is a picture i'm getting that the energy becomes more and more high vibrational now so what i feel for you is that the energy is yeah it's very light i feel it's very important that we stay together now and that we shine our light even more i'm also receiving the message it's very easy in, uh, talking about your visions so it's very easy talking about your visions and it's very easy showing up now. So I don't know if you see it too, but I feel since they were together on the stage, there was a strong shift happening. I don't know if you can see it too. We must see more the higher picture because for us star seeds, it's just political, right? So we know since we a little from childhood, we know it's just the government, the system is corrupt. So maybe you know why and maybe you always knew and uh, when you see the collective consciousness, I really feel the energy is rising and that many people are having hope. So this is a feeling I have that many people spreading hope now. So you feel the energy as well because you are an empath and you are an energetic sponge, right? You are an energetic sponge and you soak in the energies. And I received the message that the Great Awakening has begun in the US. So this is a feeling I have that the USA is far beyond, far beyond us. So because I'm here in Europe and I feel uh, the USA is far beyond. So you have so much more information, so much more. So be it chat traff, you know what I'm talking about, even the stock rituals of the VIPs. So you have so much more information. So and here in Europe, almost nobody knows. So, and I feel that the energy is strongly rising and it happened through this. And uh, Mercury is uh, not in retrograde anymore. So, finally, Mercury retrograde is over. And I also feel the message September is quieter and the energy is increasing because I feel people having hope. They have hope, I feel. And because many people have hope, the energy is rising again. So, when you check the chart, so what is the most high vibration of frequency? You will see hope is a lighter frequency to anger or to fear or shame and guilt. And this is how I see this. So, and please show your light, guys. So for all the star seeds out there, just shine your light. Because you always knew here from childhood, it's just political. The system is corrupt anyway. So don't pick a side. But my Arcturian guides told me, Please try to see the higher picture, see the higher picture that the collective needs this experience. They need this experience um, to have hope now because they believe it's getting lighter. You know what I'm talking about? So I hope so much it helps you. Thank you so much, Earth Angel Medium. Yeah, I know there are so many new followers um, and you were guided to me from an Arcturian healing video. I was very surprised, I'm honest. Because it was just spontaneously. So thank you so, so much, guys. I hope you're all well and everything is just fine. I see people from all over the world are watching. It is so amazing to see you guys. Happy and laughter, that is God. 
Much love to Egypt. Oh my goodness. Egypt. Amazing. Wow. You are a crystal healer. Amazing. Yeah, I see there are many people already involved and you know more about spirituality. I'm very happy because I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if uh, the people are ready for this information I share with you, even live, because uh, I love it to channel. So I'm a seer as well, you know, and I dive into the energies. I dive into the current energies. So that's why, yeah, I'm attuned to Arcturian healing. Ah, amazing. That's pretty cool. Okay, guys, welcome for all the people which are coming in. So I give live donation readings. I don't know if you already saw. So if you would like to have a reading with me, minimum donation is $15, not more. So you see the link here. It's paypal.me slash official Akura. Just work with this link and type it into your phone. And then you'll receive a reading live here on TikTok. I can offer you three services. I do higher self readings, starseed readings and life healings. So I love it to sing and I love it to speak in that language as well. And if you feel it, yes, I can do a healing onto you too. Thank you so much, guys. I need to be healed. Just got out of a... Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry to hear this. I also remote view. Amazing. Yes, yes. We have so many amazing psychic gifts. So we empaths and star seeds, we train our psychic muscle too. So in the energy is really increasing and I'm not kidding. I feel it since Kennedy and Trump were together on the stage. I feel the energy is increasing. I feel this. Yes, I feel it in the US and I feel uh, the US Americans. I feel they have more hope. So this is what I feel and it is infecting us because you are an empath and you feel the energies. And because you do care, you are caring of humanity, you are caring of society. So you feel this energy so much too. And Mercury retrograde is over. So always keep in your mind Mercury is very intense, always. The same goes to Saturn. Saturn and Mercury, boom. It's uh, very intense and they are in Mercury. Uh, when they are in retrograde, you know, there is always so much happening. Please don't ever stop if people are not ready. Yes, of course, we are just here planting seeds. I see it in the same way. So we star seeds planting seeds, not more. So we have new ideas, new visions. We help to increase the vibration. So we guide people back to the hearts. We help them reconnecting to their souls. And we just uh, share our love. We share our love. Oh, sorry. I sent to a person an invitation. I'm sorry. It was just by my mistake. It happened many times. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, we are just here and we shine our lights and we help the people. And I also feel that we star seeds, you know, we're just climbing back our true power. And we understand more and more our true purpose. And you September living your purpose. You September and uh, making notes because virtue helps you. We are in virtual season and I feel virtue helps you to uh, live your mission now because the last months you did so much shadow work. So you were facing so many shadows, traumas, and now you know who you are. Maybe I had to place boundaries many, many times and maybe you received this message, enough is enough. Enough is enough. I draw a boundary. I cannot save humanity. So when I'm tired, I'm allowed placing a boundary, I'm allowed saying a no, and I'm allowed doing self-care. So this is a message I'm getting too for us. And I feel we did so much shadow work, so many astro battles we fought, so many astro battles we fought too. We are, can be very proud of ourselves. Now you see who you truly are and you September and live yourself now. So I hope so much it helps you and I feel, yeah, up to the US election, I feel the energies are turbulent. It's very, very turbulent. So please keep going and stay strong. Lots of people waking up in the UK because of the situation. Yes, I heard about a little bit. So I'm in contact with some people. They told me that UK must be horrible. I cannot say for sure. These people were just talking about London, London and around London. The energy must be very dense. I just heard about it. The same goes to France. Many aggressive people and many protests in France too. Yes, you see it everywhere that many people really waking up and they just want to have peace. 
They just want to have peace, not more war, just peace, love and justice. Many people fighting for their rights now. So yes, and I see you too, that the turbulences are growing. So up to the US election. So this is what I feel. And um, please stay strong, stay grounded. And I just hope for the USA, the energy becomes better soon. I hope it really from the deepest bottom of my heart, because I feel that this election is affecting the world this time. It is really affecting the world and Europe too. So, and I just hope your situation becomes better. Thank you. So I see you guys. Have a wonderful day. Oh, wow. You're also watching from South Africa. Oh my gosh. What is the difference between workers of light and star seeds? Okay, I try to break it down uh, the best as possible. Uh, a light worker is every person. Every person can share light, love. So every light worker can uh, show love, compassion, um, your wisdom. So in light workers is every person. So when you choose love, compassion, peace, you are a so-called light worker. It's my opinion. But a star seed is a soul from other dimension they had incarnations on other planets and these souls remember so since you're little you know you're not from here you're not from here maybe you had visions from different planets maybe you had visions from different societies so and these are old souls so and they remember and star seeds you recognize because of their eyes so we star seeds have very magnificent eyes mystical eyes so very cosmic eyes so we have eyes people do remember because many of us were not here on earth many times when you were not here on earth many times then your eyes are very cosmic so and you shine bright if you will when you are an old soul your energy is more grounded but you know since you're little you're not from here and this is a basic trait of a star seed so in the light worker is every person. Every person can be a light worker. So when you choose love, compassion, peace, when you want to help nature, thank you so, so much for this gift. When you want to help nature, when you want to help the animals, so when you have a good heart, then you are a so-called light worker. So this is my opinion. So, and the star seed is a light worker as well <laughs> because they are here from higher dimensions Many of them are being sent as well. So many heard the calling and they are being sent uh, by the divine and they are here now increasing the vibration on earth. So this is my explanation and I hope so much that this answer helps you. Thank you so, so much. Don't want to be here. Yes, Jade, I understand. So many star seeds in paths, they feel exact the same. Thank you so much. <laughs> what a cute gift. Uh, so they see exact the same. Because um, the energy is heavy on earth. It is heavy. But the good news, my feeling is the energy is increasing now. Because um, the USA, I feel. And it is affecting the world this time. And all eyes are now on the USA. So I was surprised to see on uh, Kennedy's uh, YouTube channel. Uh, that there was an interview uh, published uh, by Trump. So I was very surprised to see this. So wow, a couple of days ago. There was a video uh, online on Kennedy's uh, YouTube channel. So, and this is, I tried to explain it to you. For us, it's like, okay, it's political. Mm, you know what I'm talking about. Break the Messiah program as well. So break free from waiting for a savior. So this is the old program too. And when you watch the news, try to see more the higher picture, the best as possible and see, okay, Look where the collective stands. Look where they stand and see, okay, they need this experience now. So, and when it's a lighter world, a lighter world or a lighter system, and it's not perfect or it's not pure for real, it's better for the people. You know what I'm talking about? And I received a message, see that we are still here on earth and the energy is heavy here. And when you belong to the so-called star seeds, you are an empath. So this means you have very high standards. So you know, actually, we don't need a savior. We don't need government for real because we help and love each other. But most people stand really in the other consciousness level. And I don't know if this message helps you, but it's very important that we see it from this perspective. So, and I just hope 
A ladder system is being introduced, and I just hope the people are doing better. When I was a child, I cried all the time because I was from another world. Yes, I understand you. Yes, I see Aqua. Yeah, I know. Thank you so much. Yeah, I see you all. I have a good heart, but it seems it is not good enough. No. So you have a good heart. <laughs> your intentions are crucial. So what are your true intentions? And this is very important now. So when your intention is love, compassion, peace and friendship, so your vibration is different. So your frequency comes through. Thank you so, so much. I see you all. So for all the people which are coming in, so I give uh, paper readings. So minimum donation, $15, not more. So I give short starseed readings. I give short higher self readings. And I also give life healings. So I just sing and speak in that language. And I love it uh, doing this work <laughs> as well. So and I give you healing as well. So thank you so much, guys. Um, I have to check if there was a donation coming in. Thank you so much, guys, for all of your gifts. You're so, so awesome. So awesome, guys. So from where do you know me now? So there are so many new people. Wow. Hi, Evelina. Much love to you. Hi, Alex. My intentions, purpose shall always be pure. Yes, of course. I mean, we can do our best. So when your intention is love, you know, we were all mistaken once. So I was mistaken too. I was not perfect and accurate, even with my channel links, with my messages, you know. But it's important to see we are really all in this together. We are really all in this together, guys. Thank you so much. How are you doing watching? Oh, wow. Pretty cool. Good evening as well. Yeah, it's evening my time. You're all right. I see you all. I scroll a little bit. The comments. Hi, much love to you. I see you. Oscar Pleiadian. Hi, much love to you too. Hi, Anonymous Spirit. Much love to you too. Much love to Las Vegas. Amazing. I see you. I love for you. Oh, thank you so much. You are amazing, guys. Yeah, now I see all of your faces. Thank you so much. From Australia, you're watching. Oh, how beautiful. Amazing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Italy. Yeah, UK. Yeah, I see from all over the world. You're watching. Amazing. Yeah, I also do private readings. So if you would like to have a private reading with me, so I have a website. The website is called psychic medium hyphen akura.com slash service. So this is my website. So if you feel it to have a private reading with me, uh, use this website here. It's psychic medium hyphen akura.com slash service. And then you just can book and I send to you a private message and then you will receive all details. Oh, thank you so much, Chrissy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much as well. You're watching from Texas. Amazing, guys. Yeah, I'm very honored. I'm beyond honored. Okay, let's see if there was a donation coming in. Okay. Ah, I see uh, some donations. Okay. I received a donation by Linda. I hope, Linda, you're still watching. I received a donation by Catherine. And I received a donation by Bubble World. So one second. I think there was a new one coming in. One second. No, it's Bubble World. Okay, first we have Linda. Linda, are you still here? I hope Linda is still watching. So please let me know which service you need. Hi Sandy, much love. Ah, oh, you are Linda. Thank you so much. Ah, I think I remember you. So I think I remember you. So which service you need, Linda? Do you need a starseed reading, higher self reading or a life healing? Please let me know. So maybe I'm mistaken, but I think I did a reading for you once. Thank you so much. Higher self. Okay. Let's do this. A nice picture. So is it from Avatar? That's pretty cool. Yeah, it suits your energy very much. <laughs> pretty cool. What I'm getting is you are highly spiritual. Yes, you are highly spiritual. You are very advanced, I feel. You are great in channeling. 
I feel you are amazing. You are an amazing shadow worker. You are an amazing shadow priest. I feel also your energy is very deep and very mystic. The message I have for you is um, open your heart more. Open your heart and try to surrender more to the divine. I feel you are a very tough person. You're very tough and um, clever and smart, I feel. I feel you have many ideas. I feel many ideas and visions you have. And I'm getting is just surrender more now. So I feel you have this belief you, you need to control. You need to control everything. But I feel you can't. You can't. The more you surrender to your soul, the more you know your true values and the more you know who you are. So, and you live your purpose, you live your mission. So, and I feel when you let go of control a little bit more, there is so much coming back to you. I feel that you helped so many times. I feel your energy is very strong. I'm getting very deep and wise, mystic as well. So, and what I'm getting is you are a very strong healer as well so you have a strong intuition so your intuition is very very strong so and the message i have for you is that you already know so you know when it's enough and i feel for you it's important now charging your battery and that you work more with the feminine and with the masculine yeah i feel i balance these energies out at the moment i feel you work more with the masculine so this is a picture i'm getting especially when you believe you need to control so when you believe you have to control your life, you have to control everything down to the smallest bottom, I feel it's enough and it's enough for your physical vessel. So the first message I feel is work more with the feminine and try to surrender, try to surrender. You're allowed asking for guidance because I feel you're a very smart and a very tough person. And what I'm getting is that many people believe... Um, that you are always strong, you know, it's like you don't need help for real, you don't need help, it's like you can handle everything by yourself, uh, you just do it by your own, and many people are surprised when you are tired, or when you are exhausted, so, and this is an image I'm getting for you, surrender more to the divine feminine, balance these energies out, I feel you are an amazing shadow worker, so you can scan people to the smallest detail, I also feel you as a great scanner, so you can scan energies. I see remote viewing as well. I see witchcraft, so you have a very strong connection to witches, to witchcraft, to mystical energies. And I'm also getting you have a strong imagination. You have a strong imagination and your energy goes very, very deep, I feel. So your energy goes very deep and you are a very powerful person. So this is the message I feel for you now. So and I feel when you surrender a little bit more, uh, so much is coming back to you. So you cannot control. You cannot control everything. Okay. Thank you so, so much, Linda. I hope so much you liked your reading. And it was so, so much fun talking to you. Much love to you. If you feel it, I would highly appreciate a feedback because then I understand my vision so, so much better as well. Thank you. So next, let's see, we have Catherine. I hope Catherine is still watching. Thank you. I do that. Yes, of course, you are a very strong person. So please see this. You are a very important person here. Thank you so much. It was so much fun talking to you. Amazing. So next we have Catherine. Super. So which service you need? So I give higher self readings, life healings or starseed readings. So please let me know. And then I'm going to do your reading. And next we have Bubble World Dog Spa. <laughs> so I hope you're still here too. Thank you so, so much. Let's see. Catherine. So which service you need? All the above. Oh, I see you were donating. One second. Uh, I received 12 euros. So this means one service. One service I can offer. So you can choose. Be it a higher self reading, a starseed reading or a life healing. So please let me know. I also can do it intuitive. Yes. A life healing. Yeah, I was feeling the same. <laughs> I received the same picture. Okay, let's do this. Um, first, I'm going to check your chakras. 
what I'm getting is your root chakra needs more support to stay grounded, stay grounded and stay centered in your body. What I'm getting is um, something like insecurities or something like fear, fear I feel. I feel it in your root chakra, in your sacral chakra too and in your solar plexus chakra. So your three lower chakras I feel uh, they need support. So believe in yourself, believe in yourself and work more with your... Um, how shall I explain that? Work more with this belief. You are strong. So you are strong and powerful and sovereign. So this is a message I'm getting. Yeah, that you are very powerful, strong and centered. Also use affirmations. So look into the mirror. See you are good. So you are powerful. You are lovable. You are worthy. You are unique. You are beautiful. So remind yourself that you are unique and special. And then you will receive much energy, I feel, your three lower chakras, yeah? I feel your heart chakra is strong, so you have much compassion, you're very kind and friendly. I see your throat chakra, so you are allowed to speak. You are allowed to show your emotions, you are allowed to speak, I'm getting, yeah? Through your heart space, I feel you are allowed to speak, yeah? Don't hide. So your third eye, I'm getting, uh, yeah, I see needs detoxing as well. So I can help you and I send you some vibrations and I feel your crown chakra is wide open. Yeah, so I see you have some cords. I can remove them, but I see not many cords, not, no attachments, but I see some cords. So when I check your aura, I see that down. So from your solar plexus chakra down to your feet, I feel that there are some not some holes in your aura, but the energy is thin because you need to stay grounded, yeah? And when you go with barefoot, the energy is whole, you know, and you have a very powerful aura and a powerful energy I'm getting. So what I'm getting is no implant, no psychic attack. So this is how I see you. I can work on your energetic field. I'm going to sing and speak in that language now. I hope you hear me now with an echo. So and I work with the golden flame. And let's do this. You are protected, elite, ekisi, uruya, light, amasaya. You are protected, akteria, malesaya. For your third eye, halite, ekisiria. You are protected, I like the Riyama. You are protected, Tekiria, Malitikia. 
your protected eliki roma ikitia haitiki uyukura malesa le fu le sharia Aitiki ia kasaya. Stay grounded, ilitiki ia. You are protected and safe, alaik tiriyama. You are protected, kalarikt. You are protected, shilitiki urumaya. Itisiya, dalarua makt, ilitiki saya. Thank you so, so much. I did the healing now onto you. Thank you. It was so much fun working on your field. And take care. Much love to you. Okay, so let's see who is next. Thank you so much for your donations. I'm very happy and grateful. You're so awesome. I hope so much you liked your healing. Thank you so, so much and take care. So let's see who is next. So let's check. One second. So I have to check who is next. Thank you. Let's see. So next. Next we have. Let's see. Next we have Catherine. Catherine donated. I also received by Bubble World. I received a donation by Maria. By Chessie. And I received a donation by Marcella. Thank you so much, guys. You're so, so awesome. So for all the people which donated, um, the wait time is about 15 minutes. So if you feel it, um, donating as well. So my list is still open, but the wait time is about, let's say, 15 minutes or so. So 15 US dollars for a donation reading. So just work with the link paypal.me slash official Akura. That's it. So just use this link, type it into your phone. So I offer higher self readings, starseed readings, and I also offer life healings. Thank you so, so much for trusting in my service. So if you feel that I can do a reading for you. So Amy, you say you donated. Uh, can you give me your full name, please? So and when did you donate? So what is your name on PayPal, please? So then I'm going to check as well. Thank you so much. I already donated, yes. So what's your name, Amy? And when did you donate? When? So this is your name on PayPal. Um, one second. I have to search. Couple days ago, you say? Amy, you say. It was. Yeah. One second. Yes, I see. I see, yes. So, which service you need, then I'm going to do your reading first. One second. Yes, I received. So, but after Amy, we have Catherine. Catherine, I hope you're still watching. Hi yourself, yes. Uh, and after Amy, we have Catherine. So I hope you're still here. Please let me know. And after Catherine, we have Bubble World. I don't know if you are still here. Thank you so much. So the wait time is about 15 minutes. So when you donate now, 15 minutes or so wait time. So Amy, you ask for a higher self. Ah, still, so you are Bubble World. One second, I have to pause the live and I'm back very soon, just in a few seconds, okay? So I'm back in a few seconds. One second.
Now I'm back, guys. <laughs> so, Amy, now it's your turn. So first, the message is uh, you have a very motherly energy. So your energy is very motherly and very kind. Um, the first message I'm getting for you is stay grounded, stay grounded. You are already on your soul's mission. So I feel that you did much shadow work recently. And I'm honest, I don't see you have to do so much at the moment. I feel you are completely on your path. I feel your energy is very protective and very motherly to me. And please hold on on this energy because this is you. So you have a very protective and you have a very, very motherly energy. So your energy is very strong, uh, very proud as well. And please keep going this way. So I also feel that you are guided. You have many guides with you. So you have very high vibrational entities with you. I'm getting as well. What I'm getting is that you just reconnect now with your soul. And you reconnect now with your origins. I feel your starseed origins. You work more and more with your starseed origins. And this is a picture I'm getting. That your energy becomes more and more powerful centered and you reconnect more and more with your soul and this is a picture i'm getting that your energy becomes more and more high vibrational more centered and you receive more and more messages by your guides and your energy is motherly so please keep this energy and you are allowed drawing boundaries i feel i feel but this is typical for us empaths we have much compassion and we want to help the people. So when people are not doing well, when they are suffering, you know, we always try to help. We always help. We always give. We always help. We always give. And I feel that you did a lot. You did so much support. And now uh, I just feel that you do self-care. Do self-care. So this is a process I'm getting that you really listen to your intuition. But your energy is very protective and motherly. So maybe you attract people and they feel safe. They feel protected by you because your energy is so strong, grounded, motherly. And um, I feel work more with your crown chakra and work more with your spirit guides. Yeah, you have many spirit guides on your side and work with them together. So work with your crown chakra, especially before you sleep, you receive many messages by your guides. So try it. They will respond in many different ways. So Amy, and I just feel that you are already on the right path. So I don't see so much, to be honest. Yeah, I just see placing boundaries and I just see that you really do self-care. That's it. Just to self-care and work a little bit more with your intuition because your intuition is very strong, I feel, yeah. And I'm also getting a Mother Mary that you have a strong connection to Mother Mary, I feel, and that you work with her energies as well. Okay. So do I get more? To be honest, not for real. I feel that you are completely on your soul's path. I feel that your root chakra is strong. So you're very grounded and centered, I'm getting. And you look to me like you are a strong tree. You are a very strong tree and you just rise up to the sky. Okay, thank you so, so much, guys. I hope so much that this quick message helps you, Amy. Thank you. So next we have Catherine. Catherine, where are you? So for all the people which are joining, uh, my list is still open, yes? So I give PayPal readings. You see the link here? The link is paypal.me slash official Akura. Just work with this link, type it into your phone, and then uh, you receive a reading live. So I give starseed readings, higher self readings, and life healings. The wait time is about 15 minutes. So when you donate now, wait time 15 minutes. So let's check where's Catherine, please, because you are next. I don't know if Catherine is still here. Uh, Jacqueline, 15 minutes. So maybe I have to wait 15 minutes. So when you donate now. So where's Catherine, please? I don't know if Catherine is still here. Thank you so much, Inspirations by Life. You are amazing. Thank you. Hmm. I don't know if Catherine is still here. Strange. Catherine Monos was the name. Catherine Monos. Oh. I already did. Ah, yes, I remember. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> the next we have Bubble World. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, where is Bubble World, please? <laughs> okay. 
Oh, so Linda. So now I'm a little bit confused. Did I already a reading for Linda? So Sil is here. Yes, super. Okay, so which service you need, Sil? Please let me know. So I give higher self readings, starseed readings, and life healings. So please choose. <laughs> choose between. Higher self. Okay, let's do this. The first message I have for you is, don't worry. Don't worry. I feel that, how shall I explain your energy? I feel your energy is innovative. You have a very innovative energy. I feel energy feels so, um, not chaotic. Yeah, chaotic in some way, but very colorful, very colorful. I feel you have many ideas. You have many visions, many ideas. So I feel that you need to move your body. I'm getting you need to move your body. You get bored. Um, and what I'm getting is you have many different gifts. You have many different gifts and you never can say, what is your gift for real? I feel you have so many interests and you start to have a free time activity and you start to do it. And then all of a sudden you are bored. You are bored. For example, you want to play the piano, you learn it two months or so, and then you're bored. And then you want to learn the violin, for example. You do it three months and then you're bored. So this is uh, um, the energy I'm getting from you. You have much energy. You are curious like a child. I feel you have a, you have a childlike energy too. You are curious and you're childlike and you love it to learn. You love it to learn. You don't like that feeling uh, staying on one place. You can't, I feel. The same goes to your finances. It's the same with your job. I don't know if it's true, but I saw a picture like that you had to change your job many times. Like you were bored. So, okay, no challenges. I need to do a different job. And this is how I see you. You are an empath, but your energy feels so colorful to me. I see you work with so many different colors and you love it to be colorful. You love it to be extrovert. You love it to be like a curious child. And it's a gift. It's a gift you have. So you're not lazy. In German, we call these people scanner. So these are empaths and we call them scanner. So, and I don't know if it's the same in English, but these are empaths, they are extrovert, they are extrovert, but they love it to learn. So, and they have many different talents. So, and they never can say, what is their talent? Because they do so much at the same time. And I see the same for you, that you belong to these people. And the message I'm getting is, when you are self-employed or when you run your business, uh, do two or three different jobs. Let's say uh, you produce organic cosmetics, number one. Number two is you give coachings. <laughs> and number three is you do oracle card readings. It's just an example because I feel when you stay focused on one field, you're bored. And this is uh, the, the, the process of a scanner. So they are called scanner in German. I don't know if it's the same in English. These are empaths, hypersensitive people. But they are extrovert and they love it to learn. They love it to learn and they love it to collect information. So, and I feel that you belong to these people and maybe you never knew what's going on. So, yes, I need... One second. Yes, I need many things at the same time. Yes, exactly. This is exactly what I see about you. That your energy is very colorful and that you can work on many different fields. You can. So, and I don't know if my tip helps you. But this was a message which came through. So, and please don't worry. You are good in every single way. But please don't judge yourself. Because maybe you believed something is wrong with you. Or maybe you believed you have to be different. Or maybe people told you, ah, oh, come on, you're just lazy. So you have to work on one field. Then you become an expert. So, and you are not, I feel, because you're an expert in being a multi-talent. <laughs> so this is a picture I feel for you. So, and I hope so much that this quick message helps and I hope so much it inspires you. Thank you so, so much. Okay, next we have Maria Figueroa. I don't know if I spell your name right. I cannot say. I hope, Maria, you are still here. Uh, I received. Uh, which service you need, Maria? Lulu. Ah, I think I remember you. I think I remember your name. So which service you need? So I give higher self-readings, starseed readings or life healings. 
Thank you so, so much. Starseed reading, you say? Okay, let's do this. So the first picture I feel for you is, yes, you are starseed, 100% I'm getting this, you are starseed, and I feel that you are a crystal soul. So your yeah, energy feels so lovely, high vibrational to me, very innovative, I feel you are a great artist, I see um, very colorful colors around you, I see soft colors around you, your aura I feel shines very bright, I feel, I feel you were not here on earth many times. And I see that you are an amazing artist. You are an amazing artist, I'm getting. Your energy is very lovely, very high vibrational, I'm getting. So, and what I see is very soft colors around you, but very warm. So your purpose is spreading happiness, love, peace, and joy. I feel you are a great artist. I see you as an artist as well. I see paintings. I see drawings. I also see you writing books, for example. I also see you producing light cult activations, sound healing too. You love it to play music. I feel you. I feel you are very deep in music. I see music and art, and I feel this is your purpose. I'm getting you are a crystal soul, and I feel you are Pleiadian. I'm getting. I feel that you are a Pleiadian star seed. I also feel Sirius B very much. Um, do I get more for you? To be honest, one second I ask. I see you have connections to the Arcturians. You know the Arcturians very well. I'm getting you have connections to them. I see you have Arcturian guides. So I see Venus as well. So that you work with Venus. With the Divine Feminine, I feel. Um, do I get Lyra? No, I don't get Lyra. There is something else. Blue avians. Yes, I see the blue avians as well. Yeah. So I share with you your origins. I feel you are Pleiadian. So this is your origin. It's your home. So your energy feels very gentle, lovely and kind to me. But very uh, feminine, but childlike. It's a childlike feminine energy. So, and this is a basic for Pleiadians. So Pleiadians, they work a lot with their hearts. They work a lot with your intuition. And Pleiadians are daydreamers. These are amazing artists. And I see for you that you had three incarnations on Pleiades. Three times I see you there. So the stars I'm getting, so your origin is the most high vibrational star. It's this star here. It's called Akiona. So I'm also getting you on Maya. And I'm also getting you on Merope. So I see you on these three stars. I see you had a incarnation on these three stars. These are stars from Pleiades. The most high vibrational star is known as Akione. And I see you there. You were a female Pleiadian. And I'm getting you as an energy healer, as a soul healer. And I see it basically by almost every Pleiadian from Akione. These are very amazing energy healers. These are amazing soul healers. So the energy is just pure love, love. There's always springtime there, always spring. The flowers are growing, the sun is shining. Yeah, and I see you there is a humanoid Pleiadian and you are a healer. And I know that these Pleiadians from Arcione, they have a strong connection to the Arcturians. And this explains why I see Arcturians with you too. I see Arcturian guides on your shoulders. They are with you, they help you. So, because you work with them, you work with them together on Alcione, I'm getting. So, I'm also getting you on Maya. You were a female Pleiadian as well. And on Merope, I see the same. So, you were female three times, I'm getting, yeah. So, your yeah, energy feels so, as I said, very gentle, kind, lovely, high vibrational, feminine, but childlike, childlike. And you prefer the old ways. So, I don't see you working much with technology. I don't see this. You work a lot with energies, healing work, and you create everything from yourself, I'm getting. So I also see you on Sirius B. On Sirius B, I see you living under the ocean. So water is very important too. Water. Water is very important and this explains why you are so creative. It explains why you are an amazing artist because you have a strong connection to the sea and to the ocean. So this is a picture I'm getting as well. So that's why you have connections to the Arcturians from your Pleiadian connections. In this incarnation, you work a lot with Venus. Yeah, you work a lot with Venus and with these energies. And I'm also getting the Blue Avians. 
the blue avians. I have one picture. I see one blue avian with you. So, and this blue avian is always with you. This blue avian is one of your spirit guides and helps you since you're here. So it's more like a good friend. Yeah, this is a picture I'm getting. But I see you were no blue avian or so, but I see you have a blue avian guide with you. So I highly suggest work with Pleiades. Work with Pleiades first, because this is your home. This is your origin. Do I get more messages for you, Maria? Not for real. Thank you so much. It was so much fun talking to you. And I wish you the best from the deepest, deepest bottom of my heart. It was so much fun giving you this reading. Thank you so much and take care. Thank you so much. Much love to you. You are so amazing, guys. Right now someone pretend to be you. Yes, I know, I know. So please remove and block these channels. Uh, these are people that are using my name. And they copying my uh, channel and they send private messages to you. So you receive private messages in my name and they offer you a reading. So please don't donate, don't give them your money, just remove and block them because it's not me. Thank you. So yes, I know it's crazy when you subscribe to my channel, all of a sudden there are so many people subscribing. Okay. So let's see who is next. Okay, next we have Jesse. So I received a donation by Jesse Robertson. I received a donation by Marcella. I received a donation by Michael. I received a donation by Jackie. I received a donation by Glenn. And I received a donation by Amy Arts. Thank you so much, guys. So where is Jesse, please? Jesse Robertson, you are next. Thank you so much, Earth Angel Medium. So which service you need? So I give higher self readings, starseed readings and life healings. So for all those which are coming in, so my list is still open. Um, but wait time is about, so when you donate now, 20 minutes or so, <laughs> 20 minutes a wait time now. Thank you so much. I see you. That's wait. Whatever you feel drawn to. Okay, let's do this. One second. Yeah, I feel I can do a healing onto you. Yeah, I feel this. I do a healing onto you, sister. So I work with the golden flame. I'm checking your energy a little bit and your chakras. So what I'm getting is all of your chakras are strong. I feel that your root chakra is strong, your sacred chakra, your solar plexus, your heart chakra, your throat chakra... Your crown chakra is very strong. I feel you're very linked to the stars. That's why you already do the perfect. It's the right job you do. So when you do channelings. Yeah, I receive a thumbs up for you. I see a little bit your third eye. That uh, your body needs to be detoxed a little bit. So when I check your aura. Your aura is strong. So you have a strong aura I'm getting. You're very protected. I feel you because you're very grounded. You're very grounded and you're very linked to the stars. So that's why. Your energy is very strong and powerful, I'm getting. I see you have one court, not more. You're very good in drawing boundaries. You're a gr great medium, I feel. Um, I feel one court. I see no attachment, nothing. I see no holes in your aura or so. I see no implant, no negative contract, but I feel psychic attacks. So I see that you are facing psychic attacks many times, especially when you do channelings, when you help star seeds. Or before you sleep or during your sleep. I feel there are many uh, attacks happening. What I can do for you is I shield your aura. Um, I send you much protection, much energy from my guides. So I work with the angelic Octarians. So and just receive the message from your guides and from my guides. Okay, just feel the energy and just surrender to these codes, Jesse. Okay, let's do this. I sing and speak in that language now and just feel the protection. Basically, I send you very protective energies from my guides, okay? okay. Tell <laughs> 
Kya protected ele ki realista ya You are protected, Aleke Seria. I remove your court, Kala Aikerikt, Shilitia Suyama Akeritanesia. You are protected, shielding Litiki Seya. You are free from all psychic attack, Kale Seri, Kaatili, Shinio Tusiri. Laya. You are grounded and protected. Thank you so, so much. I did the healing on to you. It was so much fun working with you. Take care and yeah, see you. Okay, guys, you're so, so awesome. Thank you so much, Earth Angel Medium. I hope so much this reading helped you. Okay, so let's see who is next. So next we have Maricela. <laughs> I don't know if I spelled your name right. I'm so sorry. Your name is Marcella. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so sorry. So where are you? Marisela? I hope you're still here. I received a donation by Michael Sanchez. You are next after Marisela. So let's see. So where are you? Please let me know. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing this live stream. I'm very happy and grateful. Super. So, which service you need? Please let me know. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, Michael, Angelo, it's your turn after. <laughs> this is Marcella, can you? Okay. I have the feeling giving you a higher self reading. What I feel for you is you are a very lovely person. I feel you are very curious, happy, joyful, high vibrational. I feel you love nature. I feel you need to stay grounded. So your energy feels so etheric, lovely, high vibrational, joyful. I feel you have a strong solar plexus chakra. You feel energies. You feel energies very much. You can sense people's emotions. You can sense the energies. I also feel um, when you stay just in big cities, it's too much for you. I feel you need villages, nature, little towns. Then you recharge better. I feel you are a person. You need much time just for yourself. But you also need much time with people, both. I feel you are very good in balancing extremes. You are very good in balancing extremes. You are very good in balance, yeah? Staying in balance. You don't pick a side for real. It's like you watch and you observe if it's needed. So you are very curious 
and if it's needed you're extrovert if it's needed you're introvert so you work with both sides and that's a very beautiful gift you have so i received this from your guides maybe you never saw it as a gift so maybe you believe that this is normal it's a normal way of communication or it's normal right uh, being in balance but you see that many people are extremists and you are not i feel yeah i just feel for you you need to stay grounded because i feel when you're not grounded enough you soak in the energies oh so much into your field it's not easy for you to know who you are then it's not easy for you to know who you are and it's not easy to know your purpose for real so and this is a picture i feel for you that you are a very lovely person and i feel you can sense people's energies and it's a gift you have so and i feel the message for you keep going this way just keep going this way stay curious live your life i also feel adventure for you i see that you love adventure i'm getting so adventure i feel traveling i feel i see you need to stay on vacation i see this because when you're not in nature you're not doing well so you need nature and you need this feeling of staying outdoors so because the energy is moving better so and because you are hypersensitive so you need to stay outdoors i feel the message yeah and i feel when you spend time in nature you do best i see you laughing i see you dancing as well and you just enjoy your life yeah so and this is a picture i'm getting it's your fu future self it's like you stay in a cocoon and you break uh, many many beliefs you had many old beliefs and ideas you had and i see that your energy and how you live your life is already very good but i just see the next phase <laughs> i see the next phase and you just break your cocoon okay so this is a message i received from your higher self that your energy is very strong lovely and kind and powerful and you need adventure i feel okay thank you so so much okay i hope so much that you liked your reading and your quick overview thank you Okay, next let's check we have Michael Sanchez. Thank you so much as well. It was a big pleasure talking to you. So where is uh, Michael? Starseed reading. Yes. So I see that your energy is very, very advanced. So I already was talking about your um, gifts. I remember that you are super, super, super psychic. I feel, yeah. I feel that you have a very strong... Um, energy i see telekinesis i also feel telepathy i feel you are very connected to archangel michael so that's why i think you use the name michael because you have a strong connection to him too i feel that you are indigo i feel you belong to the first waves so but your energy is very deep so when i check the color of your aura it's blue i feel this color like the galaxy behind me so you have a blue colored aura I'm getting and I see you are Syrian. So I see you as a Sirius starseed from Sirius A. So but I'm also getting uh, the blue avian energy very very much too. The blue avians. So and I see that your first origin is you as a blue avian. So in these are Syrians. So the blue avians are Syrians. Ah interesting. So the blue avians uh, are Syrians but these are the ancient Syrians from Sirius A. And they are blue and i feel you were one of them it's a male blue avian i'm getting this is a blue colored bird the color is like you see the galaxy and i see you with yellow eyes i see you with yellow eyes and i see you were protecting the galaxy and you took care you were a strong grid worker so i see that your pineal gland was very wide open and i see that you were very psychic i see you working with telekinesis i see telepathy and the blue avians belong to the cosmic police so this is how i see them it's like yes i'm a guardian yes of course so this is the energy by the blue avians so when they feel a society needs help they are traveling you know and they protect and help each other so and i see you had one incarnation on series a it was the incarnation as a blue avian and from your blue avian uh, incarnation you know the arcturians because I'm also getting you have strong Arcturian support with you. You have Arcturians with you, but they help you, I feel. They're sending you messages and ideas. 
And I'm also getting you on Pleiades. So you also had uh, incarnations there on Pleiades. So, and this is uh, the origins I feel. I see not many different origins. I'm honest, I feel your energy comes through very pure. It's a very strong energy I'm getting. Yeah, and your first origin was you as a blue avian from Sirius I. So you have Arcturian connections. Many, many Arcturians are with you. I feel you can work with them. And I'm also getting you on Pleiades. And on Pleiades, I see you four times. Four times I see you had an incarnation on Pleiades. And you had two male incarnations and two female incarnations I'm getting. So you also integrate this very lovely and kind Pleiadian energy. And you love it to help, you love it to support, and you love it to heal. And you are great in communication. So these are pictures I'm getting. But I feel you have connections to so many different groups because you know them as a blue avium. Because I see you were traveling. So you were traveling in a ship. And I see that you were traveling to other stars. So for Andromeda, Andromeda you know very much, for example. You know Lyra too, the Lyrans. So you know many different groups and tribes because you were traveling. So you were traveling as a blue avian and that's why you integrated many different teachings and frequencies. But what I'm sensing is that you are a blue avian starseed, yeah, from Sirius A. So thank you so, so much. So your energy is very advanced. I'm not surprised. As I already gave you this reading, I saw telekinesis and telepathy. So I'm not surprised. I'm honest. Okay. Thank you so, so much, Michael. It was so much fun uh, speaking to you. And I wish you the best from the deepest, deepest bottom of my heart. And yeah, thank you so much as well. And I hope so much it helps you. Okay, let's check. Next we have Chucky. So you are here. For all the people which donated, the wait time is about 15 minutes. Okay, so please don't worry. You receive your readings. But there are many people on the list. That's why it takes a little bit longer. So, Chucky, higher self. Okay. What I'm sensing for you is your energy is very gentle, very gentle. You are very deep. I feel your energy goes very, very deep. Your energy is very mystical. I'm getting very deep. You are thinking a lot. I'm getting. I see philosophy. So you love art. You love art in general. I see philosophy. And what I'm getting is you need much time alone. You need much time just by yourself. I'm getting you need really much time alone. And you have a very lovely and a very high vibrational energy. So what I'm getting is that your energy goes very, very deep and you are very emotional. And I feel you are more introvert by nature. The first message I have for you is please don't be so harsh on yourself. Please don't judge yourself because this is you. I feel that you need something like guidance or support. Guidance and support I feel for you. You need the right people around you. I feel you can handle it. So you are a lovely person and many people believe you are too soft. You're too soft. Is this true? But you are much stronger than you think and you already feel this power. You feel that you are much more stronger than you think and many people believe you are weak or you are too soft, too soft, but they are mistaken. So what I'm getting is you just need something like guidance or you need some inspirations. Stay in contact with very lovely people, be it your soul family, your soul tribe. And then I feel the ice is breaking. Yeah, I feel that your energy feels like you want to speak your truth. You want to show up, but you don't know with whom. You don't know with whom. So is this person interested in me? Is he interested in my work? Is she interested in my work? And this is a picture I'm giving like... You, you want to talk, but you don't know with whom. Is this true? Because your energy goes deep and you are very emotional and I see philosophy. I also see your voice. Um, I also feel writing books, fantasy books, for example. I see you also uh, producing paintings, drawings. So this is a picture I'm getting as well. Paintings and drawings and that you show it with us. Or maybe you just show your paintings on social media and people just hear your voice and the people don't know who you are so because i feel it's important for you sharing your truth and showing your emotions very important i feel people need to see you people really need to see you i'm getting and they have to find you 
okay, do I get more for you, Jacqueline? No, I see that you are very protected, but just believe in yourself a little bit more, okay? Thank you so much. You are a very lovely person. You are very smart and clever. You are, and I see, art. Art, philosophy, writing books, podcasts, amazing, yeah? And I wish you the best from the deepest, deepest bottom of my heart. And I hope so much that you like my reading. Thank you and take care. Okay, next we have Glenn Wilson. Glenn, where are you? I hope you are still here, Glenn. And please let me know which service you need. So I also have Amy Arts. I received a donation by Terry and I received a donation by Lian as well. Lian is last at the moment. Thank you so much, Jacqueline, as well. So, where's Glenn Wilson, please? I hope you are still here, Glenn. Fate boy, uh, are you Glenn Wilson? Please, I ask for Glenn Wilson. Thank you so much, guys. So, I wait. Ah, super. Starseed reading. Okay, let's do this. So first I ask, are you a starseed soul? I receive a yes. You are indigo 100%. Your energy goes very, very deep too. Yeah, you are an old soul, I feel. You're an old soul. What I'm getting is that you love it collecting information, I feel. You love it collecting information. You are open-minded for astrophysics, for science, meditation, quantum physics so but you're also very interested in spirituality so you are interested in so much i feel and it, you look like you are a wisdom keeper <laughs> it's like people can ask you so much and you have an answer so when a person has a question about how to fix a bicycle you have an answer or when a person has a question like how to practice yoga you have an answer so i feel that you have wisdom much wisdom i'm getting also technologies i feel i feel you are more introvert i'm getting you are introvert by nature i'm getting and you need much time for yourself i feel this you need much time just for yourself and um so when you spend time with people uh you need to charge your battery so and then you need time just by yourself i'm sensing is you are syrian 100 you are syrian i see you as a shadow priest so your energy is very deep, I'm getting. So I'm also getting you on series B, that you had an incarnation there. So I'm also getting you on Pleiades. I see you as Pleiadian as well. You have a strong connection to Pleiades. Do I get more? I'm also getting Cassiopeia. So I don't know if you ever heard about the star Cassiopeia. I also feel you have a strong connection. In second, you have a strong connection to Yeshua, I feel. Yeah, Yeshua is coming through too. I also feel Mother Mary. I see her too. But I feel your energy is very deep. It goes very deep. And I see Yeshua. So these are your origins. I hope so much it helps you. First, I'm getting you as an indigo soul. So your energy goes very deep. Like the galaxy background. So you have a blue aura. Um, I feel you were here on Earth many times. You know exactly what's going on here. I feel you as a Syrian starseed from Sirius A. I see you there two times. Two times I had an incarnation there. So your first incarnation on Sirius A was you as a shadow priest. It's a very deep energy, a mystical energy. And from this incarnation, you do much shadow work. You go very, 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 very deep. I feel you're not afraid of facing the dark side. You're not afraid of facing weaknesses and traumas. And it's like you are curious. So when you see a person has a story to share, you're curious and you want to know more. You know, you're very curious and you dive very deep. And this trait you have from your first incarnation and I'm getting your second incarnation. You belonged to the white lions. So I see it was a female incarnation. You were a white lioness. So and I see you with a white silver fur and I see you with blue eyes. So these are the most well-known felines from series A. They are known as the white lions. So check them out on Google, then you will find much material on them. So in your energy in general goes very deep. It's a very deep energy. And on Pleiades, I see you more as a healer. 
so that you practice healing and yoga. Thank you so much as well. Reiki, I'm getting to. Thank you so much. And on Cassiopeia, I'm getting you as a priestess as well. And you were strong in grid work and in your imagination, I feel, yeah. So your third eye was working very much on Cassiopeia. So, and you were a priestess, I feel, it was a female incarnation again. So your energy goes very deep. You are introvert by nature, I feel, and you need much time just by yourself. And I received a message that you are very protected. You're very protected and you are very, very guided. Okay, do I get more for you? No, not for real. I see that you are very advanced. You are very advanced in channelings. You have a strong intuition, I feel. I just feel your third eye a little bit. Yeah, this is what I'm getting. Thank you so, so much, Glenn. It was so much fun doing this reading. I hope so much it helped you. And if you feel it, please leave a feedback. Then I understand my vision so much better as well. Thank you. Okay, so next we have to Amy Arts, please. You donated as well. Amy, in which service you're asking for? So please let me know. One second, have to check. Yes, let's see if Amy Arts is still here. Starseed reading. Ah, it's you. Amazing. Okay, let's do this. So first I ask, are you a starseed soul? Yes. Yes, you are a starseed soul. Oh, what I'm sensing is um, you are indigo and I see you as a Blu-ray. You are a Blu-ray starseed. So I don't know if you ever heard about these beings. But they are very interesting. Blu-ray starseed I'm getting. What I'm also getting is you are Arcturian. You are Arcturian. That's very... In wow, that's pretty cool. I see you are Arcturian. An Arcturian starseed. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the club here. Arcturian. I feel also Sirius. It's A. I see you on Sirius A. I also feel you on Andromeda. Do I get more? Not for real. Thank you so, so much. So what I see for you is you are an indigo soul and I see you as a Blu-ray. So I don't know if you ever, ever heard about this, but Blu-rays, I describe them as the secret agents. So And they work a lot from behind. So they do powerful grid work and this is exact the same work you do. I see you do grid work, you change frequencies and you work from behind. Almost nobody knows who you are. So many Blu-rays, they appear as normal, <laughs> normal. They don't look spiritual, they have a full-time job, or these are students, they do a half-time job, whatever. So, and they live just a normal life. So, but they increase the vibration. So when a Blu-ray starts, lives in a town or in a little village, they shine so much light that the energy is changing in the village. And I call them the keeper of the blue flame. <laughs> So I don't know if this helps you, but this is a picture I'm getting. I call them the uh, beings or the keeper of the blue flame. So many Blu-ray star seeds have a strong connection to Archangel Michael. So this is a picture I'm getting as well. And I see this too for you, that you have a strong connection to Archangel Michael as well. So And they work a lot with the blue flame. So and they have a very strong and a lovely energy. They are very loyal. But they are very sensitive, very sensitive and high vibrational. And this is how I see you. Uh, your first origin is Arcturus. So you are Arcturian and the Arcturians have no physical bodies. So they have no physical form. They are celestial, etheric. And they see you as an Arcturian with a blue skin. So when you do appear physically, they can, just for us, they put on a physical body and it does exist blue Arcturians, violet Arcturians or golden Arcturians. So these three colors they work with. And I see you as a blue Arcturian. I see you with a blue skin and I see you with a blue aura. So and I see that you prefer to be female. You were a female Arcturian when appeared and you helped other star sisters and brothers. So this is the basic mission of an Arcturian. They love it guiding star seeds. They love it uh, helping other star sisters and brothers in the process. And that's exact the same work you do. I see you on Sirius A. I feel you there. And I see you look similar to the Navi. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I see you with a turquoise blue skin. It was a male incarnation. I'm getting you on Sirius A. And I see you look similar to the Navi from Avatar. 
You have very tall size. I see you with black hair, black long hair I'm getting. I see you here with a side cut. Very cool. And I see you with yellow colored eyes and you did grit work. Grit work, grit work. I see there are symbols on your body. So, and I see you have a strong third eye and you just did grit work. You worked a lot with your pineal gland. <laughs> Navi is my tribe, you say. Yeah, even your energy reminds me of the Navi on Sirius A. Yes, Amy, that's what I see. And I also feel, one second. Yeah, you have a very strong energy. That's what a picture I'm getting as well. So Andromeda, yeah, you also have a strong connection to Andromeda. I see you there one time and you're just traveling through the galaxy. Yeah, you're just traveling through the galaxy and I see you in the Andromeda galaxy. So it was a female incarnation as well. And I see it was a planet. It's in balance. I see they work a lot with technologies, but they work a lot with nature. So these are very balanced beings I'm getting. Yeah, your energy is very high vibrational, very kind and very lovely there. Yeah. So, but I suggest start with your first origin which is you as arcturian and you are a blue ray so maybe check out some traits about the blue avians um about the blue ray star seeds i'm sorry check their uh, traits out blue ray star seeds on youtube for example and check out uh, arcturian traits as well because it explains your energy the most okay so i hope so much it helps you and thank you so much for trusting in my service yeah, let's check who is next. Thank you so much, guys, for trusting in my service. You're so awesome. I cannot believe it. I love it so much. Giving you readings as well. It's a big, big pleasure. Thank you so much, Amy. Thank you so, so much, Marty. Thank you so much for all of your gifts. And thank you so much for sharing this live stream. You're so, so awesome. Thank you so much. So let's see who is next. Next, we have Terry. Terry, where are you? Please let me know, Terry, where are you? Oh, thank you so much for your lovely compliment. So, Terry Willick, where are you? After Terry, I have Lian. After Lian, I have Farida. After Farida, I have William. So, I think my list is closed for today. So, I do the last readings now. <laughs> and then I'm going offline too. Thank you so much for trusting in my service, guys. You're so, so awesome. Thank you. You're so awesome. Simply Manda, thank you so much for this hashtag. So where is Terry Willick, please? So for all those which donated, wait time is about 15 minutes. Yeah, maybe you have to wait 15 minutes or so. So Terry, where are you? Ah, super. So which service you need, please let me know. I can give you a higher self reading, a starseed reading, or I can give you a life healing too. A higher self reading okay let's do this what i'm getting for you is there's a change needed there's a change needed for you so when i check your lower chakras your root chakra your sacral chakra your solar plexus chakra it works just fine so you have a strong energy you're very grounded and centered um i feel you are here on earth many times you know exactly what's going on here on earth and you're very grounded and powerful so i feel that your heart chakra needs a little bit support you open your heart a little bit more and believe in your intuition so believe in your intuition believe in the divine a little bit more because i feel that your energy feels so very down to earth very grounded and very mind mind based i received a message and i feel that you when you work with spirituality it looks to me like you're curious you want to know more about spirituality but you cannot say hmm, is this good or is it accurate is it truth you know, I feel that you are skeptical by nature and your energy feels so mind-based, logical, you know, very, very logical. And at one hand, it's good, but I feel for you, there is a change needed for sure. I feel your heart more. I feel your intuition, that you learn to believe in your intuition. I also feel your throat chakra. I feel that you hide, <laughs> you hide many thoughts and feelings and emotions. And I know it's not easy for men to do so, but I feel it's important for you um, showing your true emotions and your feelings, yeah, that you speak, yeah, that you speak more because I feel you hide a lot, I'm getting. 
and this is not you it's not you the same goes to your third eye and to your crown chakra that they need training i feel yeah as i said that your three lower chakras working just fine so you are very grounded you're very rooted i feel your sacred chakra as well so your solar plexus chakra it's very strong so you're very grounded and powerful but what i'm getting is your crown chakra your crown chakra what i'm getting is and you you need a little bit more support the same goes to your third eye your throat and your heart chakra so how to do that hmm, it's very easy so believe in the first feeling you have you know when you make a decision it's the first feeling we have many times it's your body and your body says okay now we need a break or now it's not the right choice it's like it's a it's a, a warning signal so and this is your intuition and afterwards you understand so oh shit why didn't i trust in my intuition so my body already warned me my body told me shit this is not the right path so and this is i feel next stage for you and when you work with spirituality you keep it very very simple and you need science i feel when you don't work with science mm -mm, it's not good for you i feel yeah thank you so so much so i have to charge my battery the sound is changing one second my battery is very very low thank you so much yeah i hope so much that your reading helped you it was a big big pleasure so and take care from the deepest deepest bottom of my heart so thank you so much, Terry. Thank you as well. It was a big, big honor. Okay. So let's check. Next we have Leon. Leon, where are you? So you ask for a starseed reading. Okay. Thank you so, so much. So first I ask, are you a starseed soul or not? Yes, you are. Indigo. Indigo, you are a warrior. <laughs> you are a light warrior, I'm getting. Yeah, you are a light warrior. I feel that your origin is Mintaka. Mintaka, Orion, I feel. Yeah, this is your origin. Straight. You have a very powerful energy. You are very grounded, strong, rooted. Your solar plexus chakra is strong. Your sacred chakra is strong. Your root chakra is strong. So really, you have much power in your belly. Wow, your energy is very strong, I'm getting. Oh, Sophie, you're on Sirius A one time. So you also have a connection to Sirius A. Uh, do I get more for you? No, not for real. So I just see you have a connection to the feline. You have a connection to Vega and to Lyra. And this is because of your Sirius A connection. The same goes to the Blue Avians. Because I see uh, as a Syrian, you were a hybrid. And you integrated the feline and the bird energy at the same time and the blue avians are birds and uh, the felines are from vega so they have the origin there so and i see they said one second what's going on Ooh, my battery is low very strange i hope we i hope you can still see me very strange <laughs> actually my battery is charging but there was a connection it broke very strange what i can say is that you were a hybrid on series a thank you thank you uh i see that you were a hybrid on series a and you integrated the feline energy the same to the bird energy so that's why you integrate uh, these traits as well by the blue avians and by the feline people so i see that you had one incarnation on series a so i felt that your energy feels so cosmic to me so it's like you prefer to stay on one place a long 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 time yeah so i see you lived on series a a long time there the same goes to mintaka and on mintaka i see you as a mermaid so water is important for you but mintaka is different because these are very strong and powerful warriors so and they are humans they lived under the ocean and there were mermen and mermaids they lived under the ocean so watch aquaman so it's just my recommendation if you really want to know more about mintaka watch aquaman because this is the energy from mintaka so your energy goes very deep powerful strong and i see you as a very powerful mermaid so i see you with a golden staff i see you with a golden staff i see you with a diamond attached yeah it's a diamond a golden staff i see you with golden jewels as well and i see you with golden hair 
So you have golden blonde hair, I'm getting curly hair, and I see with a green flipper. So the color of your flipper is green, and I see with the golden stuff, I see with golden jewels, and I see with golden blonde hair. And you have very scanning eyes. Yeah, you have white blue colored eyes, and you were very powerful. I see you have strong muscles, powerful energies, and you were a fighter. I'm getting, and this is still your work, I feel. You are a warrior of truth, a warrior of justice, so you can't see injustice. When you see there is injustice taking place, you have to speak your truth. Or maybe you're getting mad or angry many times. So this is a message I have for you that your energy feels so strong and powerful to me. right? Very powerful and strong. So and please hold on on these energies. The saying goes to series A that you were a hybrid. And you also practice shadow work, I feel. Shadow work. And you dive very deep, I feel you dive very, very deep too. And you see people's emotions, you see the weaknesses, their traumas. And that's why you also have this Syrian energy, which is very balanced. And I see you there as a hybrid and you integrated the feline and the blue avian energies. Thank you so much, sister. It was so much fun speaking to you. And I hope so much that you resonated with your reading. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. You're so, so awesome. I cannot believe that so many people are here. Thank you so much for all of your gifts. Thank you so much for all of your emojis and sharing this live stream. You're so awesome, guys. Okay. So next we have Farida. Farida is next. Please let me know, Farida. Are you still here? Farida. So which service you need, Farida? Stars you're reading. Okay, let's do this, Farida. So I ask, are you a starseed soul? Yes, for sure. Yes, for sure. You are a crystal child. So you belong to the second waves. So your energy feels so childlike, pure, etheric, high vibrational. So the crystal children are very kind and friendly beings. For example, I belong to the crystal children too. So I do not belong to the indigo children. The crystal children have a different mission here. They're spreading love, happiness, compassion, joy, so their energy is childlike, so they're never growing old for real. So, and these are those you see them on the playground, you know, they are adults and they love it to play like a child. So these are the so-called crystal children. So they are highly intuitive. They love it to spread peace and they're very linked to the stars. And I see you as a crystal child. And the um, origin I feel for you is Pleiades. I see you as a Pleiadian. I see you had three incarnations three times you were there. So I'm also getting you on Andromeda. Andromeda, I feel very much energetically too. I'm also getting you on Antares. Do I get more for you? No, but what I feel is, you know, the Lyran people very much. Yeah, from Pleiades, you know them. I'm getting, yeah, many Lyrans settled down on Pleiades as well. After war, they settled down there. So on Pleiades, I see you there three times. So your energy is very Pleiadian. So the Pleiadians are highly intuitive, high vibrational. They have a pure and acute energy. They love it to talk. They are very good in communication. And this is how I see you too. I see that your origin is Plione. Plione is a star of Pleiades. I'm also getting you on Maya. And I'm also getting you on Tageta. So I see these three stars. Yeah, first Plyona. I see you on Maya. And I'm also getting you on Tageta. And three times I see you were female. In your first incarnation on Plyona, I see you as a fairy. So your energy is very cute and childlike. And I see you as a very tiny fairy. This size circle. I see you with wings. I see you with a magic wand as well. And your energy is so lovely and so cute very lovely and kind and I also see you helped nature, you have plants to grow, you helped flowers to grow and you worked a lot with energies and with magic I feel. Your energy was very childlike and very lovely and Plyona is very beautiful because I see so many forests there on Plyona. It's so beautiful, the flowers are so tall, so tall and so colorful. You cannot imagine how beautiful these flowers are and so colorful. So even elves live there, many elves live on Plyona, and this is your energy there. On Maya, I get you as human, 
and I saw no real purpose for real. And this is what I see by many Pleiadians which had a incarnation on Maya. They have no mission for real. They just live there and they enjoying their lives. They have party. It's like tourists are coming together from many different places. And you know, they're just partying and they have a beautiful time together. And I also get you on Taigeta. And on Taigeta, I see you were one of the Pleiadian High Council from the Taigetans. And I see you with black hair. This lamp circle, you have straight hair, I see. And I see you with hazelnut brown eyes. You have hazelnut brown eyes, you have a very symmetric face, you have a very feminine body, but I see you traveling. So you were in contact with the Andromedans, you were in contact with the Syrians, and you were in contact with other Pleiadians. So this is a trait you have as well, but your energy is very etheric, high vibrational, I see, yeah? I'm also getting you on Andromeda, I'm getting you on Antares, and from Pleiades, you have these Lyran connections as well. So you were in contact with them as you were uh, on Taigeta, I see. That you also were in contact with the Lyran people. Okay. I see you are surrounded by many, many Pleiadians. So your energy is very high vibrational, very kind. And this is a picture I'm getting for you. Okay. Thank you so much. It was so much fun talking to you. And I wish you the best from the deepest, deepest bottom of my heart. Thank you. So let's check who donated next. Next we have Wim. And I think Wim is last for today. And then I'm going offline. Thank you so, so much. So where is Wim Abuno, please? Wim Abuno, where are you? Please let me know. Then I'm going to do your next reading. And you are last for today. Thank you so much, Wim. Ah, you are here. You are Neo. Amazing. So which service you need, Neo? Please let me know. Okay, so I can do it, but I'm honest, I have to be quieter now. My time, it's very late already. What I can do for you is I speak in that language. So if this is okay for you, I can do it. Then I'm going to speak in that language. I can do the healing onto you as well. So if it's okay, I can do but I'm sorry, I'm very sorry. Um, I have to be quieter a little bit now. Okay, let's do this, Neo. So first I check your chakras. You have a strong root chakra, I feel, so you're very grounded down to earth. I feel your sacred chakra needs support. Your solar plexus, I feel too, yeah. I feel you need boundaries, energetic boundaries you need, and you need a plan. You need goals, I see. You need goals, you need ideas. Um, I feel that you have many visions. You have many ideas and many visions. You see it through the system, you see it through this. But I feel you stay very much focused on the darkness, on the dark side. Is this true? And for you, it's time uh, seeing the root, the good, the bright side of life. Yeah, it's very important for you to see the light, that you really welcome the light. And I feel when you stay too much focused on the darkness, you lose energy. You feel very exhausted, tired and drained and depressed. And that's why I see your solar plexus chakra needs more support. I can help you in that balance uh, your solar plexus and your sacred chakra. I feel you have a strong heart chakra. You're very kind and lovely. It's like you always have compassion. So you see the light in the people. You see the darkness as well. So you have a strong heart. You are very compassionate, I feel. Your throat, I feel, needs a little bit of support, so speak your truth and don't hide for real. Your third eye, I feel, is working strong, so you already see a lot, I feel, yeah? I see you do much shadow work and you see frequencies. You see if a person is honest or not and you observe the system very, very closely. So your third eye, I feel, is strong. The same goes to your crown chakra, so you already receive many messages by your team. You receive many messages by your guides, yeah? So I can help you to balance these chakras. What I'm getting is cords. Um, I can remove your cords as well. So to people, you're not in contact with them anymore. But I feel these cords, uh, they're holding you back. It's like you're stuck in the past, I feel. Is this true? They have to think about the past many times. Or did you really stuck in the past? And I feel for you, it's time now breaking these chains and removing these cords. Yeah? Try to see more than now and see the future see your future self so what can you do now to make the earth a better place so what is your gift what's your mission yeah um 
I see no negative contract. I see no AI implants or so. I just see that you're struggling a lot with yourself. Okay. What I can do for you is I sing and speak in that language now. I work with the golden flame. So, and I give you healing through that language. Okay, let's do this. So first, we shield your aura. Imagine gold light is coming to you now. Sa'ala kiti shiria male tama. Ayatuyu humale saraya ktianit isiria tuyama. Alai tiki ikyo rumo kule tilirinis. Stai itianis otuyu suhuyama. You're grounded ala karamaya. You are loved se iti yahua ma teke shiria. You are not alone dili imi tiria. You are loved by the divine tiria masa. Welcome light, aleki itishi isiria masaya. Give life a chance, she is seria na itili satu yoku ilitama. Muaka aktare tasaya. Give life a chance, the etishi iti suruyama. Balai teki isiria. I balance your solar plexus and your sacred chakra now. Balasaya, climbing back your power, ala ikiria. Having goals, daily te isiria. You are needed, ayeki se iti uyama. You are needed, ala kari se tuyama. You are needed, akilit ahuya malet, ishi sa ayakuroya. You are needed, ala tarama hayotusoya. You are powerful and sovereign, believe in yourself. Ushi li ki sharai tresaya atasaya. Balance the aile kiria, balance the ayaturu se kia la sa akteria. I'm cutting off your cords now. Imagine a golden sword, luru ku kua ale tekisaya. Cutting off and stay in the now, aleti shiria kile saya. Stay in the now, hala akale riminis, ses de itia rinis, stuyuro. Stay in the now, haleteke iria mas, do iuroyak asheralai denikt. Sasuya ili mi tio suroya sa etene saya. Stay in the now, halamaka re saya. Find peace to Shuiyaso. Find peace with your past. Ahaka ahumala saya. Find peace with your past. Shilish ilisirinis sa uyama. Dahuyo tukurama saya. Dive into your third chakra. Leterikdine saya. Speak your truth. Alukushorea. Speak your truth. Ulukushi ilitini minis xarea. Speak your truth. No shame. Doloromaya. Speak your truth even if your voice is shaken. Bala kashuruya le takati nikt. Sisarea ma. Sisa esa esa reela tasaya. You're protected and shielded. Ale sheria mo kuso. You are powerful, la rea. You are unique, ala kura ma sala saya. Work with the divine, dile kisaya. See the light, a rea ma. Welcome the light, bia. Enjoy every moment you have, hu yutura. La tarasa naya, shielding karetelis. Shielding ala ili kisirit usuma. Sasu yutura ma alai te kisirit i aki aramanes. Sane turu maya. Okay. I did the healing on to you. It was so much fun working on your felt. Thank you so much from the deepest, deepest bottom of my heart. Yes, you were right. This was Arcturian light language. Yes, because I'm an Arcturian star seed. That's why the Arcturians coming through the most. So when I do healings, yes, I work a lot with the Arcturians. Thank you so much, Neo. It was so much fun working with you. And I just wish you the best from the deepest, deepest bottom. Guys, you're so awesome. Oh, thank you so much for your lovely compliment. Thank you. So I did all of your readings now. It was a big, big honor talking to you guys. I wish you the best from the deepest, deepest bottom of my heart. I'm going live as soon as possible again. Maybe tomorrow we will see. You are beyond awesome. So if you would like to have a personal reading with me. So I also offer private readings. So just check out my website here. So one second, I share it with you. The website is called psychicmedium-akura.com service. So this is, one second, I pin the website again. So this is my website. If you need a private reading with me, just check out psychicmedium-akura.com slash service. You will receive a private message with all details attached. And then, yeah, 
I give you a detailed reading as well. Thank you so much, even in German. <laughs> For all the German viewers out there, when you book a private reading, I speak German as well. <laughs> Thank you guys, you're so awesome. What language do you speak in your videos? It's called light language. It's called light language. You also can call it light code activations. So this is a language from your soul. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're so awesome, guys. For all the people, you are amazing. Uh, Larry, oh, it was you because you booked on my website. Uh, Larry, yes, I saw. So when you booked uh, on my website, the process is different. So you receive um, a private message by me and it's a private reading. So when you book on my website, these are private readings. So the process is different, Larry. Uh, but when you need a live reading, just use the donation link, just the donation, not more, because these are just 15 US dollars. <laughs> yes, I'm going to reach out to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for trusting in my service. And I'm going to check which service you booked. Yeah, I see it, but it was uh, on my website, okay? Thank you. I wish you the best from the deepest, deepest bottom of my heart. You're so awesome, guys. Take care. Much love to you and see you as soon as possible. Thank you so much, guys. You're so awesome. Goodbye. Take care. Have a great weekend. Take care. Yes, of course. Much love to you. Thank you so much, Starfire. <laughs> much love. Goodbye. Ciao, ciao.